Hi, Psych2Goers. Do you have times where you just feel out of touch with yourself, your friends, or your passions, or all of the above? Everybody has off days. But do you get the sense that these events are happening a little more than you'd like? If so, you may be experiencing burnout. Burnouts are your body's way of telling you that you're getting exhausted emotionally, physically, and mentally. It's usually caused by extreme and prolonged stress. If you go a long time without addressing these issues, you may spiral and worsen, and it can cause lowered self-esteem and even depression. So to help you be more aware of your mental and emotional well-being, here are seven signs that you're burnt out. Number one, you're procrastinating a lot. Are you constantly putting off things that need to get done? One behavioral symptom of burnout is withdrawal from responsibilities. The laziness you're currently experiencing may actually be a cry for help. This continuous act of task aversion may also be because you're afraid of failing tasks you're supposed to complete. It may help to talk to someone about the current pressure and stress you're feeling and to take some time off until you're feeling better. Number two, you're isolating yourself from others. Are you tired of socializing? Do you frequently want time only for yourself? Because of exhaustion, the act of seeing and talking to people may feel too tiring to think about. You may feel that you only talk about work, life responsibilities, which may add to the stress you're trying to avoid. Remember that time alone is important, but emotional isolation is dangerous. This disengagement might be a symptom of depression. Talking to a therapist may prove to be a great help to your mental state. Help is always available. According to statistics, only a small percentage of you who watch our videos are actually subscribed. So if you haven't, and at the end of the video, you enjoy what you see, do consider subscribing. It would help a lot with YouTube's algorithm in promoting more of our mental health content. Thanks for being here. Number three, you're becoming very impatient. Is everyone getting on your nerves? Does every little thing, no matter how trivial, make you irritated? This may be a sign of underlying stress and anxiety. A lifestyle cause of burnout is working too much without enough time for socializing or relaxing. This onslaught of negative emotions may be a result of not having enough support from friends and loved ones. So having a healthy social life outside of your work or school life is beneficial to your mental health and may reduce the chances of burning out. Number four, you can't sleep. No matter how tired you are during the day, is going to sleep at night a struggle? There was a study that observed the association between insomnia and job strain. They discovered that insomnia is strongly linked with burnout. Lack of sleep may also bring about higher chances of high blood pressure, heart disease, diabetes, and more. The bottom line is that you need sleep. Some home remedies for insomnia are to stick to a sleeping schedule, stay active, and to limit caffeine and alcohol from your diet. Although insomnia is a common sleep disorder, it can really bring severe issues to your health. A physical exam performed by a medical expert might also help you get a diagnosis and treatment for your lack of sleep. Number five, your previous hobbies no longer excite you. Do you still find joy in the activities you used to love? If the answer is no, then this disinterest may stem from being emotionally drained. Continuous disinterest and lack of willingness to do anything is also another symptom of depression. It may help to reach out to those who are close to you and tell them about your troubles and to spend time doing new things. Try to limit talking to people who make you feel bad about yourself since they can only worsen the situation. And instead, you can find new friends and enjoy their eccentricities. Keep in mind that you're not alone in feeling burned out. A lot of people can relate to you. So don't be afraid of opening up. Number six, your work or school performance is deteriorating. Are you frequently coming in late? Are your numbers of absences starting to tally up? Burnouts can be overwhelming, so you might find yourself doing almost anything to avoid your responsibilities. At times like these, it may help to think back on why you're doing what you're doing. Why did you choose this field in the first place? When was the last time you genuinely smiled? Go back to your positive days and surround yourself with the thoughts, people, and acts that make you happy. And number seven, you turn to addictive habits for comfort, like smoking, drinking, or eating, etc. When hopelessness, fear, and many other negative emotions drown you, self-medication may seem like a helpful way out. Self-medication is the use of alcohol, drugs, and other methods to manage a mental health issue. 
What is often overlooked is the fact that this is only a temporary solution to a permanent problem. It may lead to addiction and increased health problems. And yes, even food is a form of self-medication. If you recognize this symptom in yourself, it may help to recognize your triggers and to slowly change your harmful habits to healthier ones to help you cope. There are numerous ways to adopt better sustainable habits, like exercise for one, is proven to boost your mood and promote calm feelings. And of course, a visit to a therapist or a licensed medical professional can help in further treatment. Do you think you're burnt out? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.